Good morning. We're in day three of our Colossians study, and today it's titled Through Him and For Him. And the reading today comes from Colossians first uh, chapter one, verses fifteen through twenty three, first Corinthians chapter eight, verses five and six, and Jude chapter one, verse twenty four through twenty five. And the reading today um, is about remembering that everything was created for him and in him there is a purpose to everything. And I think it's very interesting when, when you uh, start to do an, a Bible study or an early morning, as I like to call it, the early morning Bible study, is that some mornings you get up and you think, uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Um, read. I don't want to get up this early. I'm making the extra time. But when you read the words and you think everything for him, it's not about you. And we live in a very me centered world, but it's not about you. But to understand that the sacrifice that was given was about you. It was to save us all. It was to give us the opportunity to know him better. Um, and the author of the writing talks about um, that they have a mentor and that they uh, go for a walk. And the question is, who do you believe God is? And who or what has influenced your belief? And is your belief true? And that that's something that's really interesting because when somebody challenges your belief, you, you have a couple different reactions. Reaction number one is that you can get angry that they challenged you. Reaction number two is that you can shy away from the challenge. And reaction number three is that you can have a conversation and talk about what your belief is and why you're rooted in that belief. And I think that that's the power of reading the Bible and knowing what's in there is that you can back up your belief with the word. And I think that when you give yourself that opportunity to understand deeply. Yeah, there are times that I read things and think, what was that that I just read? I have to go back and read it again. And then sometimes I have to read it out loud to myself. And then sometimes I just go, I, I have no idea what that was that I just read. But to give yourself that opportunity to be immersed in that, it's like learning another language. You have to be immersed in it. You have to do it again. You have to do it again in order to fully understand. So I think um, the author really makes a good point that you need to go back and you need to let the words soak in. You need to give, give thanks for the words that were written there so that you can understand um, the sacrifice that he made for the love that he has for us. Um, I love this part right here. It says, uh, who Christ is does not change no matter the view from where we sit. So the morning is the morning, the evening is the evening. That's the way it is. And then I love this, uh, and this comes from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 8, verse 6. And yet for, and yet, for us there is one God, the Father. All things are from Him. We exist for Him. There is one Lord, Jesus Christ. All things are through Him, and we are existing through Him. I think it's a great way to start the day. If you can, if you can ponder that, let that soak in and think about it. All things have been created through Him and for Him. Well, thanks for joining me, and uh, Maybe I forgot to tell you what we're doing today. It's She Reads the Truth. We're in day three of our Colossians study. Um, and again, thanks for joining me. Uh, give me a thumbs up below or uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I hope that you join me again tomorrow. Happy Thursday.